Well, hello everyone, and here with another LEGO Star Wars review for Throwback Thursday, and this one is on the Wookiee Attacks. Yeah, Wookiee Attacks from 2005. So we'll start off with the booklet here. So on the front of the box, here, so, or on the front of it, you see the logos and also the old Mustafar Darth Vader border that they used for the Episode 3 line in 2005, and picture of everything in action and set number 7258 and on the back add for the Lego Star Wars video game and then add for shop at home and Lego club and win on the online survey and add for the other 2005 sets or actually episode 3 sets from 2005 as well and then you see the main features of it. And, uh, so, first of all, you get two Wookiee Warriors, of which relevant for on Kashyyyk. So the printing of which is about the same as the Chewbacca ones that they've done for many years, until 2014, that is. But however, it does have the, like, headdress, whatever that is, and all kinds of nice detailing for the time. Although kind of creepy with the molded eyes there. At least until they did start using printed eyes as well. Got the like belts and the gold chest plates. I'm not sure what that's for. Also, there's a nice printing for the headdress as well, of course. And all it does work still works like the Chewbacca ones, of course. And next I get about also about two generic battle droids with but with the arms and also the old style blasters which are megaphones with a stud on it and of course which are very common to get in sets and of course good for army building which this set also is good for and the first build you get with this is a little uh, mini spider droid which does have a couple of the ratcheted joint bricks and yeah, that was kind of odd for a small build. And it does have that little hexagonal dome piece like we've seen in most classic space lines. And it can rotate like most other short spider droids and large antenna come out the back. Then. And the front build which does also like other small spider droid sets. And the front turn does have two pivoting joints to it. And that's about it with that. Also, you get the Wookiee uh, little hovercraft of some kind. So, I get a whole ton of the antenna pieces right out the back. You have this, like, little area piece of uh, it in tan which is also been made exclusive for this set because uh, which bricklink of uh, which has it for like three bucks a pop so like, at least the set was kind of made for that just for that so I hope Lego gets to bring this piece back in print again because it would be good for mock making and also make it affordable and better and everything and well, also get enough space to fit your both of your Wookiee characters onto both in this front area and in this back area, which attempts to kind of pop off easily. And well, it does have a couple of odd blasters to it. And in this top area, which also does fold up, so you can like put it in easier. But as for this lower area, it does have a couple of wing 
flaps that do fold out to the well both sides. Oops. Sometimes these antenna pieces can get in the way of it. Actually they are supposed to be out like that according to the cover. Oops. And also do you get some landing gear all around. Which can make it about a centimeter off the ground of course. And then lastly, get is the like first version of the Corporate Alliance tank droid. At least until the 2009 Clone Wars version, then the 2013 Episode 2 version. And just like the other two versions, this piece of which was still printed, or dish piece was still printed well. At least in this version, it's trans orange, whereas the other two versions were in gray. And this front area, which has a couple. Has these like the dish pieces and also the odd tiles acting for eyes, whereas the other versions of which had used studs for eyes. Here's the like pontoon area things. It's also built kind of oddly, but at least like with the cheese slopes and things, which the other versions also somewhat did. And the back area, which also kind of similar to that, but with some plates onto the sides, where it's all connected on by two by one jumpers there, and also of which relevant of a oh, whoops of the other versions, or the key part is that I can roll it around. Even. It can, like smaller tread pieces, which they often use for greebling. And this front area, which has the technic worm gears to it, acting as, again, as greebling. And you can, like, lift it up. And there's a little slot, probably, to fit your battle droids in it. And that's the common thing with LEGO. Like, they're drones, they're unmanned, they don't need eyelids. Which. Although this would, didn't really come with the other uh, Corporate Alliance tank droids over time. Also, although the last time we did was about 2013, so it's a possibility they might redo it sometime soon. But we'll just have to wait and see. And so now, on to the final verdict on this section. So overall, I think this is which a pretty cool set for the year of it, 2005. Like, has a couple of Wookiee warriors and a couple of battle droids, which good for army building. And of course, do get a tank droid and. Although, I think this build of which, I think they could remake nowadays, but with a, as a Wookiee battle pack or something. Because that would be really kind of cool of them to do. And, of course, you do get this being the first version of the tank droid, even though it did get improved over time. And, yeah. And... If you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't, well, good luck getting it. Or still have access to this set, then go ahead and get it. Like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.